With Himalayan art, we have many broad subject categories um, covering all kinds of, of uh, fields of interest, religious um, studies, art, history, just all types, iconography. But one of them uh, that um, is really also quite large is uh, what we could call um, pilgrimage art, which is also the same as tourist art and uh, souvenir art. And uh, this really covers a lot of, um, of different types of, of subjects. Um, now for pilgrimage art, sticking to strictly pilgrimage here, then what we have is really we have holy mountains and sacred sites. So for holy mountains, we have, we have places such as um, Kailash, we have um, uh, Tsari Mountain, we have the four main mountains of China, which are very popular with um, uh, Tibetans and people from the Himalayan regions. Uh, we have Wu Tai Shan, famous for uh, Manjushri. We have uh, Puto Shan for Avalokiteshvara, Ume Shan for uh, Samanta Bhadra. And uh, then we have another mountain for Kshitagarbha. So we have um, we have these four. Um, now the of, of these four, uh, it's Wu Tai Shan for Manjushri, which is really most important, in which we do have a lot of, um, a lot more art, representative art, um, and it's because probably a lot more Tibetans would, uh, and people from the Himalayas would travel to Wu Tai Shan, uh, and then want uh, some sort of a memento um, of that uh, pilgrimage and that visit. Now. Also, we have holy sites, and, and for these, there, there's just really a, a lot. In the last few hundred years, of course, Lhasa has been one of the most important uh, uh, destinations and uh, uh, a place where people wanted to uh, have something in hand that represents their pilgrimage to Lhasa. But Lhasa itself uh, really only has two main sites uh, that are popular in art. And, and one of them is the actual Putala Palace. And then the other one is the, the older is, is actually the from the bar courts, the Jokong, the Lhasa Temple, the Lhasa Cathedral, with the important um, Shakyamuni sculpture inside, also with the with uh, other sculptures such as Akshobhya Buddha and the eleven-faced Avalokiteshvara. Uh, there is a, a third site, we could say, which is the Ramoche Temple, um, but often the Ramoche Temple is actually squeezed into paintings of the of the Jokong Temple, the Lhasa, main Lhasa Temple. Now, we also have um, uh, Tashi Lumpo is very popular in art as another uh, monastery within the town of Shigatse. Uh, and then we have a number of monasteries. We have, uh, we have Drepung and we have Samye. Uh, we have um, Labrang Monastery. I mean, it's just the full spectrum. Whatever is popular in a particular region, such as, such as East Tibet would be Kumbum and, and Labrang. Uh, so we have, um, uh, uh, paintings of these uh, monasteries, Central Tibet. We have uh, we have Drepung Sera Ganden, and then uh, Samye Monastery, and then for a little bit more going towards uh, Tsang Province. Then we have uh, we have um, actually Sakya. Uh, we have uh, Ngor Monastery, uh, and then we have uh, a number of of miscellaneous. Uh, um, uh, smaller uh, sites such as Jonang and Bodong, but but the, these are these are smaller. Then what we also find, really starting in the um, 17th century, is we find with different uh, um, aristocrats or or religious teachers who are traveling, and then what they do is they do a travel log of all of the different sites they've seen. So they're putting in uh, the the main architectural sites uh, of each uh, place that's visited into a, a, a painting. So we have examples of this as well. Um, and also these paintings sometimes also double as a life story for that particular individual. So we can have uh, several purposes being accomplished with these uh, pilgrimage type art forms. Now, pilgrimage art is really something that, that is uh, uh, very specific, but along with it we also get tourist art and we get 
and we get this uh, uh, really uh, uh, lower quality souvenir art. Um, and so we'll talk about that another time.